Hello children, in this video we are going to learn how to apply the concept of multiplication in real life situations. But before we begin, let's recall everything that we learnt in multiplication till now. We started with the terms of multiplication, then we learnt the properties of multiplication, then short multiplication, linear multiplication, multiplication with multiples of 10, long multiplication and now we will learn the real life applications of multiplication. Let's begin with the first question. In a school, each child is required to pay a tuition fees of Rs 945 per month. Find the total tuition fees paid by a student for 9 months. The fees for one month is Rs 945 and you have to find the fees for 9 months for which we multiply 945 by 9. Let's begin with the first statement. We know the fees for one month Rs 945. Now we can straight away find the fees for 9 months. So we write therefore fees for 9 months and to find that you have to multiply 945 into 9. So write that multiplication statement 945 into 9 and then do the multiplication below. 945 into 9 when you multiply the product is 8505. Write the answer with the unit. The unit here is rupees which is written before the number. So the answer is equal to rupees 8505. Second question. On children's day, each child was given 15 chocolates. How many chocolates were given to 783 students? Here we know the number of chocolates given to each student and we have to find the number of chocolates given to 783 students. To find that, we have to multiply the number of students by the number of chocolates given to each student. That is 783 into 15. Begin with the first statement which is the number of chocolates given to each child. 15. And then find the number of chocolates given to 783 students. For that, the statement is therefore number of chocolates given to 783 students. And to find that, we have to multiply 783 into 15. So write that multiplication statement first and then solve it below. 783 into 15. We'll do long multiplication here. First multiply by 5. 783 into 5 is 3915. Next put the 0 and multiply by 1. 783 into 1 is 783. Then add both the numbers. 11745. That is the total number of chocolates given to 783 students. Answer is equal to 11,745 and the unit is chocolates. Question number 3. In a school, there are 2,345 students each in the primary, middle, senior and senior secondary sections respectively. How many students are there in all? In this question, we know the number of students in each section. And the different sections are primary, middle, senior and senior secondary. That is four sections in all. In order to find the total number of students, we have to multiply the number of students in each section by the number of sections. Let's begin. In first statement is number of students in each section 2345. Next, we'll write the number of sections as that number has not been given in the question. Only the different sections have been named. So we will write number of sections which is 4. Now we can find the answer. 
So write therefore number of students in all. And to get that we have to multiply 2345 into 4. Write that multiplication statement and multiply below. 2345 into 4 is equal to 9380. Answer is equal to 9380 and the unit is students. Question number 4. The heart beats 72 times in a minute in a healthy person. How many times will it beat in an hour? Here we know the number of times the heart beats in a minute. But we have to calculate the number of times it will beat in an hour. So before we begin the calculation, we have to convert this hour into minutes. Let's begin with the first statement. Number of times heart beats in a minute, 72. Next, write the number of minutes in 1 hour, which is 60. After this, we can calculate the answer. So write the statement. Therefore, number of times heart beats in an hour. And to know that, what must we write? The numbers that have to be multiplied. 72 into 60. Here we can use our knowledge of multiplication by multiples of 10. As 60 is a multiple of 10. Write 0 and then multiply 72 into 6 is equal to 432. The answer is 4320. Write the answer with the unit. 4320 times the heartbeats in an hour. Question number 5. In a school, there are 8314 students. If each child is given four library books to read, how many books were distributed among the students? In this question, we know the total number of students and the number of library books given to each student. In order to calculate the number of books distributed, we have to multiply the number of students by the number of library books given to each student. So let's begin. First, write the number of students, 8314. Then, the number of books given to each child, 4. After that, we can calculate the answer. Therefore, number of books distributed, 8314 into 4. Remember, it is important to write both the numbers that have to be multiplied after the last statement and then do the multiplication below. 8314 into 4 is equal to 33256. The answer is equal to 33256 and the unit is books. One last question before we end. 15 pencils are to be distributed per student in a school. If there are 389 students in the school, how many pencils are required in all? We know the number of pencils given per student and we know the total number of students. In order to find the number of pencils required in all, we have to multiply the number of students into the number of pencils given per student. Begin with the first statement, number of pencils distributed per student, which is 15. Then write the number of students, which is 389. Therefore, number of pencils required will be 389 into 15. Arrange the numbers for the multiplication. 389 multiplied by 15. We'll do long multiplication here. 389 into 5 is 1945. Then write 0 and multiply by 1. 389 into 1 is 389. And when we add both the numbers, we get 5835. The answer is 5835 and the unit is pencils. Mm -hmm.